For you podcasters that want to dial in your latency a little bit, check this out. We're going to have it next. It's Geekazine's coverage of NAB 2014, and it's brought to you by our friends over at Otherworld Computing, celebrating 25 years. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine, and uh, I'm here with Robert from Source Elements. How are you doing, Robert? Very well. How are you doing, Jeffrey? I'm doing great. Now, uh, not as much for podcasters as musicians usually have this problem, but there are some podcasts that, you know, they want to have, they're going to have that really big interview with... The, the president or with uh, with a big NBA star or musician or something like that. They don't want to have any problems whatsoever with their audio. Um, and especially when it comes, uh, if they're in California and the, the person is in D.C. Or, or, or New York or something like that, this is where you guys come in to help with audio. Is that correct? That is correct. We, um, we, we, we make a, a new codec called Source Connect Now and it's the beauty of it, it's run completely off of a web browser, off of a Chrome web browser. So anybody, all your guests, all they need is access to a Chrome browser and they can, you, know, you can interview them in extremely high quality and, and low latency, similar to basically a cell phone. Uh, so it was, what is that, like nine milliseconds? To, to what? A little bit more than that, but, but probably, you know, between 100 milliseconds. 200 at the most. It depends on exactly where in the world everyone is, but um, so latencies will vary, but it's as low as a cell phone, which everyone is used to, and it's basically at this point as low as it can get okay. globally. Uh, for uh uh, for musicians, though, is this is this something where you know you're you're in Texas, I'm in California? Can we be jamming together? Or is this uh, is this slightly different? It's it's different than that because because musical timing is so much more precise that 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 hundred milliseconds is a lifetime in music. But in a conversation, that hundred milliseconds is basically unnoticed. Okay. Okay. So you said it's it's for Chrome. But it, so it doesn't work with any of the other. Is this a Mac and a PC and a Linux uh, type Chrome or? It's uh, Mac, Windows, Linux, Android. We are working on a I, iOS application. Okay. Um, Firefox is starting to get their facilities together, so that it might soon work on Firefox. But right now, the only browser that fully supports it is Chrome. All right. Cool. 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 Well, when we come back, we're going to learn a little bit more about this uh, this great product, and then of course find all the price points right after this. Of course, all this great action is brought to you by our friends over at OWC, Otherworld Computing. Because, you know, you can't always get a brand new Mac. You can't always get a brand new production system. So you have to upgrade what you've got. And the best part is they have the memory. They have the SSDs to actually make your computer run faster, run better in the environment that you're in. You got a brand new Mac Pro? Instead of paying for the high price for Mac memory, you can get OWC memory at a fraction of a price and get a lot more memory out of that deal. Uh, they have a lot more over at the website. You can check it out. Of course, if you're looking to buy a, a refurbished Mac or something like that, they've got stuff like that too. Stuff for your iPhone and stuff for your PC. Did you know you could put an SSD into an old PC uh, using an adapter? I didn't know that. Now I do. Check it out. Go over to geekazine.com forward slash OWC. Geekazine.com forward slash OWC and find out what they got. And then tell me your story. You want to save your Mac? Use the hashtag SaveMyMac and uh, tell me why you need memory, and, uh, and we'll, we'll talk about it on air over at geekazine.com. That's over at geekazine.com forward slash OWC. All right, we're back here with Robert and uh, Source Elements, and uh, we're talking about latency between interviews when it comes to podcasting, when it comes to uh, being a musician. So let's talk a little bit about more than one. Let's say you have uh, three or four. Well, how many, how many connections can you have at one time? Um, I think right now we're limiting it to five, but in theory, we're not too sure. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if, if you had five people on, would that be a 128 kilobit per se second? Each, or? each connection would be 128 or as much as 320 kilobits per second per connection if you'd like. If I was, uh, do I record it at my place or do you guys record it on a server and send the, the finished file to me or what happens there? You, you have a couple of options. You could record it all at your place. The audio quality of the broadcast is so high quality that most people except for their pets won't really know the difference. Okay. Um, but the service also has a facility to, um, to, to record each person locally. And then those files can be directly sent to the host and then they can line them up in their system for the for the rebroadcast essentially. Okay, would that be extra to have that service or? 
We haven't figured out exactly how it's deployed. So right now the service is, uh, is free. It's in extremely late beta. Okay. And um, we're, we're doing free for now. And then once we launch it um, out of beta, we'll announce pricing. And we plan on being very aggressive with the pricing, probably um, you know, less than a steak dinner. Uh, less than a steak dinner. Oh, wow. I love steak dinners. Right. A good steak dinner is, is good. And, and to have that one monthly less than that, that's, that's, that's pretty sweet and, and very affordable for all podcasters out there. Um, so we had we we talked about the multiples. We talked about the recording. Oh, one question: When we rec when I record, and let's say I record five voices, are they all separate recordings, or are they all put into one audio? Currently, on your side, they would be all one. Okay. But if you engage the record for each of your guests locally, you would have all five of them separate. Okay. If there's any latency issues, do you have any programs that show and and adjust the latency? It shows the latency in real time. Okay. Um, and then once, once you bring it all down, you can adjust the latency if you'd like. Um, the other thing we have built into it is a talkback feature. So a lot of the times, latency isn't so much of a problem because of you know, the 100 milliseconds it takes you to hear me. It's more of a problem because of some of the echoes that might happen. Okay. Um, one of the features we have is basically a push to talk system built into it. Oh, okay. So if the mic's off, there's no echoing back and forth. All right. Or if I'm, uh, let's say I'm, I'm moderating, but I'm not talking, I can I can get people back on track by hitting that push to talk button, right? Correct. Awesome. All right. Well, we found out how much it costs. Free. Gotta love that. At least for now. Um, where do people go for more information? Uh, SourceElements.com. So Source-Elements.com. And the specific website for Source Connect Now is Now.Source-Elements.com. All right. Well, Source-Elements.com. We'll 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 go there and go from there. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you, Jeffrey. All right, there you go. If you're a podcaster that's looking, you got, you got a major interview that you want to make sure that you've got all the voices, you got the, the quality, you've got the, everything tight and ready to go, you might want to check out Source Elements, especially since it's free right now. You can't go wrong with that. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. You can check everything out over at geekazine.com or the YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Geek out, folks.